Hello everyone, this is Alice the Dragon, and we are about to enter the pit in Delver. And, uh, yeah. So, today I want to get to a topic that I've been wanting to get to for pretty much ever since this topic came up. Um, one of my, uh, one of my viewers suggested, you know, I want to know about you know, your view of the universe and really you know the shape of the universe is kind of what I've been building up to all this time like what is ooh can I get in here also I should probably smash these big ones because they could have zombies inside there we go oh I did not mean to do that uh two to six damage for that bow though I don't think that's yeah yeah that's that's not worth it but yeah the shape of the universe is what I've been building up on because uh, yeah I've, I've been talking a lot about oh, that's a thing that has a secret button somewhere doesn't it um, yeah I've been taking things from an existentialist perspective in that we only can know what our perception of things is we only know our internal state. Let's face it. You know, our yeah, you know, our internal state might be connected to the outside world through our senses, but we only yeah, you know, we only o know our own experience. So really, to picture, ouch, ouch. Okay, that is that is a dead, as a dead thing. Uh, yeah. Anything outside ourselves, we kind of have to imagine and um, and think logically. Where? I don't know where I'm supposed to go. That's kind of a whole life thing, but anyway. Uh, do I want health, agility? I I, I, I want agility. So. So we are aware of, as far, you know, most of us are aware of three dimensions. You have length, you have width. So, you know, say, you know, the length uh, of this uh, inventory screen, you've got six squares. So you could say it's six squares long, right? Or six squares of length. And... Um, And then the second one is width, so you have, you know, three squares wide, you know, uh, six squares long, three squares wide. You know, that's that's something most of us can wrap our head around. And is this really all there is to it down here? There's is there a hidden button or? Um, well, gee, I need to find. A way to get past all this so hmm anyway uh, yeah we're, we're all pretty pretty aware of those and and uh, and physicists who have been studying this kind of stuff a lot longer than I have uh, yeah call time the fourth dimension so yeah, I've talked a little bit about time worms. You know, the, just a little recap. You have um, yourself as you know, essentially a fetus on one end and as a corpse on the other, and everything in between. You know, we call a time worm. Seriously, seriously, is that all that like that? Mm, this is annoying. I I don't know. I don't know where the way forward is, cause I like I went all the way to the bottom of the other branch. What all is missing from up here? Hmm. There's no buttons. There's no ah. Uh, like uh, the answer is probably obvious. But I'm just missing it, so I'm gonna 
go back up and keep exploring while I talk about dimensions. So we, we've gotten up to the fourth dimension so far, which, uh, yeah, ev yeah, we are pretty much aware of, oh, there's a place back this way. Yeah. Cool. Uh, no, that is, that's a different thing. That's blocked off. Uh, that's not what I want to do. I want to do that. Mm. Okay. Okay. Can I go over that way yet? Uh, that scares me every time and it's gonna be... It's probably going to collapse. Uh, do you have something I can use? Weapons and armor, gilded hammer, steel storm mace. Uh, I think I'd rather get something like, yeah, bag expansion. I'll, I'll take a belt expa expansion too. Actually, I'm just gonna be real greedy there. And okay, that that that's probably enough for now. Yeah, got a couple more slots. Ah, <sighs> like, hmm, is there a lever or something? Like, I see. Yeah, I see a thing over there. There must be a lever somewhere. So. To imagine the fifth dimension, yeah, uh, I, I don't know if I, I mentioned, but yeah, the people believe that there are uh, ten dimensions, possibly eleven plus. So the ten we can think of, yeah, we, you know, we have uh, essentially the back Back to the Future situation, where uh, we have somebody who. Um, travels back in their own timeline, ends up somewhere else, changes something, and um, goes on uh, to essentially live in another timeline that, uh, yeah, that had different outcomes. Yeah, so the time worm goes in different directions. And uh, yeah, that's taking the long way. <laughs> and uh, honestly, if if um, if Doc Brown had had access to the fish fifth dimension, I would argue that because of the way his time machine worked, did it again. Because of the way his time machine worked, um, he uh, he was only traveling in the fourth dimension, uh, which is a feat unto itself. Ooh, jeez. Actually, can I put... Let's, let's put a meat haunch up here. I'm good on health, so I don't need the cheese right now. I also uh, kind of made myself kind of a, a budget hiss guard out of some spare open cell phone. So I hope that uh, it does what I want it to, and, and that you can hear me a little bit clearer uh, without getting a whole bunch of S's and P's in your ears. Um, but, yeah. Uh, the fifth dimension would allow you, essentially, to go directly from uh, the world in which uh, George McFly uh, is still uh, Biff Tannen's bitch, and... Uh, from from that reality to the one in which uh, uh, George McFly is a best-selling author, and uh, yeah, that's yeah that that's uh, essentially what you'd be able to do if you had access to the fifth dimension. So uh, the fifth fifth dimension is you know all the timelines that could possibly be from the same, uh, ooh, at, wait a minute, apple, yeah, from all the same, uh, 
uh, from the same starting point, really. So that's, uh, uh, if you don't mind me kind of referencing Rick and Morty here, uh, that would be uh, Rick uh, visiting uh, his other selves in other dimensions because they, they all have the same uh, origin point. I'd argue that uh, that would include the ones where he's like, uh, yeah, where he's wasps and I don't know. There's probably a pickle dimension out there somewhere, but uh, yeah. Uh, what did I just do? What did I just do? I'm going to have to play back the footage on that. Okay. Well, death happens. <laughs> but the, that's still the furthest I've uh, gotten in this so far. And, uh... And, the, and uh... That just means that... Yeah, I get to start again, which is fun. Uh... What can I get at the shop, please? Hmm. I kind of want to get that uh, hunter's bow and have a nice bow on hand. Just right away. Yeah, that's a... Hmm. Uh, actually, I don't like any of those. <clears throat> so, okay, so when we go into the sixth dimension, that is, gotta pet the dog, that is all of the universes that um, had different starting points. Things like, you know, our own Big Bang. You know, maybe instead of uh, physics being set up in the way... Uh, yeah, the way it was with ours, with the speed of light being what it is, and uh, and just all those variables. Yeah, when you think about it, the universe is full of so... Yeah, the, the universe we know, anyway, is full of so many variables. It's it's just ridiculous. Uh, you, um... You know, we are only kind of just discovering. I should have gotten that bow. I should have gotten that bow because I have arrows now already. This is great. Oh yeah, and the uh... Mm. This is nice. This is very nice because uh... I still have those belt upgrades from hey. before. Get out of here! Gone! So I would say that uh in the sixth dimension come on stabby stabby uh, in the sixth dimension that's yeah that's when you get to universes that are like one over zero that exist as uh, yeah maybe maybe not uh, maybe not as uh, Jeez, what am, what am I even trying to say here? Uh, I'm gonna get some agility going. I want as much agility as I can because I love that bow and I want to use it more often. Maybe that's what I did. Maybe there was a bomb there and I just didn't know. Uh, I don't know how I didn't die just then. That's why I shouldn't do the short stabs with the dagger unless I'm... Yeah. Oh, hi there. Hi there. Hey. How can I get to you? Oh, ouch. <coughs> stabby. Stabby, stabby. Don't do the short stabs. I'm getting reckless now. That's my problem. I've died and now I'm getting reckless. Uh, I want to put this here. I want to put that. Um... Yeah, that'll that'll do. Uh, I'll hold on to. Uh, actually, I don't like fire wands because they blow up in your face. They're they're very volatile. Ah, I'm paralyzed. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, right. So, 
sixth dimension, you get things like uh, one over zero, where the physics is just completely different from our own, or even subtly different from our own. Uh, Quit hiding. The seventh is where you imagine. Ha! <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done, sir. Why am I still stabbing people with the dagger when I have a, uh... Ouch! Nice. Alright. I actually eat something. Okay, that worked. Uh... I really hope that I'm remembering this in the right order, because it... it okay, so it was... Uh... I'm, I'm counting on my fingers. Length, width, ouch. Uh, length, width, depth, time. So that's four. Uh, you have the Doc Brown stuff. That's five. Uh, uh, and uh, you have... Yeah, so that's all the possibilities in one dimension. Uh, ooh. Sixth is all the possibilities in all uh, all dimensions, you know, with uh, different starting points. <sighs> Dang it! Look up, you know, imagining the tenth dimension, please, because that is really what I'm trying to put across here, and I d I I don't feel like I do the whole thing justice. Because, yeah, it essentially goes, yeah, all, all the points in, uh, in all the, uh, all the dimensions we could possibly think of. Oh, diamond. I found diamonds! I found diamonds, everyone. So, uh, yeah, when we get to the point that we can't imagine anymore... That is... Jeez Louise, huh? Nice armor. Thank you. I'll take that. Uh, I don't need these extras. Maybe I should, uh, stay back and use the wand for... <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! This is... This is really nice. Look at this, Bella. This is a really nice piece of armor. 5 AC and attack plus 3? Yes! I will take that. Absolutely. Okay, just eat that now. Eat that now. I need it. You know, and, and, uh, you know, the 10th dimension, according to them, is, is, according to physicists, is everything that could possibly be. And that, and, and I would argue that um, hey. our capacity for creativity. Ooh, I need to. Ah. Okay, okay, gotta. Uh. That kind of that kind of sucked. Uh, eight to ten, four to seven. Goodbye, Iron Dagger. You are no longer needed because you are less. Get that bomb before it explodes in my face. I like the boxes fall down in this game. Uh, so, yeah, uh, when I when I talk about the shape of the universe, it's really mostly that. Yeah, uh, that idea that yeah, all those possibilities they kind of blend together. Cause think of the many, many, many different ways that um, our own universe could have started differently. Yeah, things like what if what if light was created ambiently? It by empty space and uh, and dissolved into heat after a, a 
certain distance as it does in uh, 1 over 0. Well, that would uh, that would make things kind of interesting. Uh, but, you know, then you think, well, like, how much light is being emitted by empty space? And uh, how much... Uh, yeah, how far uh, do... Yeah, how far does it go before it turns into heat? And when you really think about it, yeah, when you when you have the number one and the number two, just let's yeah, as a variable, let's say. You have one, you have one point one, you have one point two, you have one point three, one point four, etc. And you also have one point one uh, or sorry, one point eleven. 1.12, 1.13. Uh, and, like, theoretically, at least mathematically speaking, you take a pie, you can cut that pie into as many pieces as you want. That means that there are an infinite number of points in between any two points on a line. Trippy, huh? And, uh, that means that whatever variables exist in the universe exist on a spectrum. It kind of makes sense, right? You know, you've got, you've got red, you've got orange, you've got, uh, reddish-orange, you've got, uh, like, you, once you look closely enough, the the lines blur so much. So, kind of going back to the time worm, here's, here's how I like to picture my time worm. I like to imagine that uh, whatever uh, is perceiving the experience of Alice right now is... Yeah, a, a particle that in any given moment is making... Ooh! Oh, that's a trap thing. Uh, is making the decision whether to go uh, left or right. Yeah, there's, there's factors involved. Definitely. Like, this way has, you know, kind of a bar dark and spooky open place. This way has this trap that is very easy to get by because all I have to do is kind of wait for it to go and then go. Um, but I could have decided to go left there. Yeah, and, and imagine if every individual particle were deciding in every g given moment what direction to go. Oh, thank you for smashing that for me. Save some durability on my, uh, on my thing. Uh, so, what if the, yeah, in, in the tenth dimension, okay, okay, got to hide this, no, 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 ha, 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 alright, alright. We're doing it. Ouch. That that was bad. But uh, I got a bus right now, so this is nice. I'm going to drink some ale, because what better time to go through a dangerous puzzle than when you are drunk. So, what if every single particle uh is not a fixed point in time, but something moving through the shape of whatever the universe is. If we treat the universe as a static object without time, uh, you could imagine it as a big 
solid block. So, uh, so if you have a block that, ooh, yeah, did I go up there yet? This place feels very familiar, and I keep throwing stuff on the floor. Um, yeah, maybe I didn't go up there. No, I definitely did. Uh, really, you, know, you can imagine a block that uh, is red on one end and uh, and purple on the other, and uh, maybe it's white on uh, one side and black on the other, and then uh, transparent on top and solid at the bottom. So yeah, that. You know, that, that's probably a good way to imagine the three dimensions. Yeah, you got time, which uh, you could imagine it as a whole bunch of those uh, cubes stacked on top, on top of each other in the same location in uh, space, sort of, really. Um, and, you know, if, eh, excuse me, if we uh, are moving through that, like, that, that means that essentially in the uh, dimensions forward of us is all the positions we can get to from, uh, from here. And... Yeah, that's that's where I would say free will comes in. Yeah, you know, free will is whatever factor um you know, makes you uh go in one direction instead of another. Uh is that better than my current bow? Five to seven, three to five, no. No it is not. Four to six, no. Uh and, uh, ooh, hi guys. Hi guys, how you doing? Let's, uh, let's party. You down here? Where are you? Ouch. Alright. And, uh, when you, when you get to that point, you know, like, you know, when, when it comes to, like, determinism, um, when I was a kid, there was a friend of the family who, uh, uh -huh. was a determinist. He believed that everything he is and is going to do was already predetermined, which oh. it sort of is, in that it exists in the dimensions above us. But, in a way, we are choosing moment to moment what to perceive in that, um, yeah, what, what, what to perceive and how to, those are almost, almost identical, but I think, oh, I really shouldn't use that for the smashy smashy. Okay. Yeah. So, if we, if we, uh, if we treat ourselves as having independence, that's ultimately better. That, I've got like a couple of spots I haven't explored. Uh, do I want to go back and explore those? That's like the fire trap down there. We've pretty much got everything, and I'm probably getting there on time. I'm just gonna... Oh, over there's kind of close. So... Yeah, I'll just I'll just give myself just a little bit more time, just to just to kind of wrap up my thoughts here. You know, when uh, when you get to the everything that that is uh, infinity, yes, everything is predetermined in that it exists in some state. Does that mean uh, free will is 
not a thing, that it's an illusion? Arguable. But... Hello? Ouch. Oh. Yeah. We might as well treat it as free will, right? All, all the way down here and got hit on the head for an apple. Well, ain't that a pain. Okay. Uh, I think I think ti it's time to wrap it up. But seriously, uh, look into um, look into imagining the the tenth dimension. Like uh, my housemate Justin, like just introduced that to me last night, and uh, and I'm just like, this is exactly what I've been trying to explain this whole time. Uh, well, maybe not not this whole time. But, uh, yeah, something I've been wanting to put into words and just wasn't sure how. So, yeah, I will put a link in the description if I'm smart. I'm pretty sure I can. I like that, I like that uh, increased attack, actually. So I'm gonna switch that out. AC is not quite as good, but speed and attacking ability... Yes, please. And yeah, you know, a lot of uh, my thinking lately has been, okay, how do I make my existence work more for myself? Uh, yeah, you know, one one way I can uh, look at my own journey uh, uh, is on that kind of time worm perspective. Somewhere out there. There is a version of Alice who, uh, who maybe didn't choose to go to public school, or, uh, or maybe uh, wasn't ostracized by peers at said public school, and uh, didn't decide to try and go into counseling or anything anything like that uh, and instead say became a journalist well you know that probably would have been uh, a lot healthier for me in a lot of ways to go into journalism because that very much more closely aligns with um, both my talents and my views um, but that's not what happened instead yeah, I was hurt. I was like, I want to help people not hurt so much because I'm hurting. But, you know, ultimately it kind of boiled down to I'm hurting so much I can't help people. And that was my roadblock. And that is uh, kind of why I'm out of work right now. But, uh, you know, I've got you guys. And I find that very, very comforting. And I, I am a journalist now, in a way. I'm writing uh, gaming uh, news articles. So that's really cool. I enjoy that. And um, yeah, so you know, you could say those two time worms are kind of getting a little closer to, to each other. Um, they'll never meet because you know, they exist in yeah, in a dimension and they can't be in two places at the same time in the same dimension. So, you know, yeah, be, being able to get closer is nice. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling now, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's been about half an hour. And thank you all for coming along on this journey. I hope that um, my, I wouldn't call them insights, but, you know, ramblings, uh, I hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next episode. Okay, bye! I'm trying to wave. Bye!